Because <laughs> my breath always seems to be big at the start. I don't know why. So I got a kind of request to do a video about how to use Xpadder. So that's what I'm going to do now. Of course, I don't know how well this is going to work. Because with my screen being 1920 by 1080, everything is going to look rather small. So I'm going to have to zoom up on this on the video editor. So this is basically a program where you can use to... You can use your gamepad like a keyboard or a mouse. So for instance... Right here I can use my gamepad to move the mouse pointer around. Or even do various keystrokes. So anyway, first up, this is a little bit of an old program, so if you're trying to run this on Windows 7, um, I don't know about Vista or Windows 8 or Windows 10, but on Windows 7 it's not going to run right away, so what do you want to do? Is you want to go to Compatibility. You right click on it and then go to Compatibility. And set it to run Windows XP Service Pack 3. And that'll be absolutely fine, it'll work. So, as you probably saw earlier, I've got XPadder running here on Windows 7. So, let's see how we set this up and make it do the things that it can do. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this from scratch. So, I'm going to put it a new configuration. So it gets this up here. On your computer you're not going to see all these trails, that's just an effect for my video capture. But anyway, first what we want to do is I want to take a picture of the gamepad. You don't have to take a picture of the gamepad, but this does make it a lot easier to see what you're doing. So, I'm going to open a picture that I made here. Well, let's just open that in Paint. So when you've got your picture of your gamepad, and you want to make sure its size is 512 by 256. You just save it. It's a 256 color bitmap. And you're good to go. So let's just bring that in. I'll save this. Save as tutorial. Alright, so now we've got a gamepad in Xpadder. Like I say, you don't need to take a picture of your gamepad and put it in there, but it does make it a lot easier to see what you're doing. Let's set up the buttons and everything. So we'll go into sticks. No, not that crazy badger from Sonic Boom. The other kind of sticks. We'll enable them. And now we just do what it wants us to do. So push stick left, up, and there we go. Okay, so we're just going to move that up to there. Now as you can see, it's assigned it as WSAD, but we can change that if we want to. So, so I want this to be the arrow keys instead. We can do that. So I'll change that to up arrow. I'll change this one to down arrow. I'll change this to left, and I'll change this one to right. Alright, so we've got this far. Let's set up the other analog stick, if your gamepad has one. So we'll go to settings, and go to sticks. Let's go to stick 2, and enable it. Do the same things again, so I'm going to push the, um, the right analog stick left, and then up. For some reason, it's already assigned to the mouse, I don't know why, but... Again, we can change that. So, if you want to make it, say, do the arrows, well, we could do that. So let's bring up a notepad. Yeah, just... Put in a few spaces so we can move the cursor around. Okay. So now you notice, when I do it, moving the right thumbstick, we can move the cursor around in Notepad. Isn't that fascinating? 
But anyway, I want this to be the mouse, so I'm just going to put that on to mouse. And there we go, we've got our mouse. Alright, so let's do the rest. Let's do the D-pad. So we're going to enable the D-pad. We'll do up, down, left, right. And we'll move that over to the D-pad. Then we can assign this whatever buttons we want. So let's let's assign this to WSAD. Of course, we could do it the other way. So let's do it that way. Nice shortcut right there. So let's go back to Notepad. And now I'm going to muck about with the D-pad. And you can see, there it goes. So you can see it's all there. So, let's do the rest of the buttons. So here we are on the buttons. Right, so I want the four colour buttons. So I'm going to put those in. So, A, X, B and Y. Alright. Hope I've got these in the right order. So this one should be A. I think this one is B. I think this one is X. And I think this one here is Y. Let's just check that. Okay, these two seem to be the wrong way around. So I'm just going to move those so we get the right way around. Yep, that's responding like it should do. So let's assign something to those. Let's make this one Z or Z. Let's make this one X. Let's make this one V, I mean C, let's make this one V. And let's do the notepad test. Perfect. Okay, so I've gone ahead and assigned the shoulder buttons. Sure you don't want to see me do every single one. So let's do the triggers. Right, hold the left trigger, sweetenly. Hold the right trigger, sweetly. So there's our left trigger, there's our right trigger. Don't know what to put these as. Um, I'll make these one and two. Of course you can make them anything you like, I'm just doing this for a demonstration, but... You know. Now let's see how well that's working. One, 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 one. I mean... Help if I press the right buttons. Yep. That's working good. So the only things we got to do are these three buttons here. I don't know if it will respond to the center button, but we'll see. Now, I think I'm going to change my shoulder buttons to mouse clicks. So let's do that. So I'm going to change the left shoulder button to the left mouse button. I'm going to change the right one to the right mouse button. So these will now do left and right mouse buttons. We better just save it. I'll save. I'll see, I want to save that, but I've already saved that, so we don't need to bother. So let's just try that on our gamepad here. If I press the left shoulder button, we should be able to close that. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, I hope that's helped out. And until next time...